are suppressed healing technologies being mass-produced on the moon for public release. According to a contactee with the Galactic Federation of Worlds, a moon base called Lunar Operations Command has been repurposed as a medical facility in order for major corporations to mass-produce and release advanced healing technologies. You are listening to Exopolitics Today with Dr. Michael Sala, your source for the uncensored truth regarding the human, extraterrestrial, social, global, and political agenda. Click the like button and subscribe to this channel. Visit exopolitics.org and sign up to receive our email notifications, news, and information. Be informed and be aware with Exopolitics Today. And now, here is Dr. Michael Sala. On September 11, I received an important update concerning the impending public release of advanced healing technologies that are being mass-produced on the moon as a result of the Jupiter agreements involving military and space program officials from 14 nations and cutting-edge aerospace companies that occurred back in July. The update was given by Valnek, a high commander of the Galactic Federation of Worlds who took part in the Jupiter Agreements, according to Megan Rose, who relayed Valnex intel. Valnex's update involves Lunar Operations Command, a former German Nazi base on the moon that initially was handed over by the Dark Fleet to US authorities, including the Air Force Secret Space Program, NASA, CIA, National Reconnaissance Office, National Security Agency, and a consortium of corporations in the 1970s as a result of secret agreements. This corporate consortium became more dominant over the subsequent years in managing the Lunar Operations Command and is being called the Interplanetary Corporate Conglomerate. The first secret space program insider to discuss Lunar Operations Command was Randy Kramer, who came forward in April 2014 with his revelations. He says he was taken to Lunar Operations Command for induction and training before being sent to Mars for a 17-year period as a super soldier to fight indigenous reptilians and insectoids to protect Mars corporate colonies before serving in the Solar Warden program for a further three years in deep space operations. He described being returned to the Lunar Operations Command at the end of his 20 and back program in 2007 when he was put through age regression technologies that reversed his age back to 17. He was then returned back in time to when he began his service in 1987. Randy's experiences on Lunar Operations Command were very similar to what was later described by Corey Good in early 2015 when he came forward with his experiences. I compared Randy and Corey's experiences in an article published in April 2015 and also incorporated them along with another insider, Michael Ralph, with information about events on Mars in a chapter of Insiders Reveal's Secret Space Programs, published in 2015. Other insiders have since come forward describing their own experiences at Lunar Operations Command and the advanced medical technologies that exist there. Consequently, Valnek's information that Lunar Operations Command will be repurposed for the mass production and release of advanced healing technologies to humanity is very important news. This is what Valnek said, quote, Valnek, I can now report that Lunar Operations Command is in the process of being remodeled into a medical facility for the Terran military. There are technologies, as you know, being manufactured. I repeat again, that these technologies are advanced technologies from the Federation and are being manufactured by the Terran people. The technology that will be present in Lunar Operations Command are medical technologies. It will be used as a medical base for the Terran military. It is necessary to point out that until this time, real healing technologies have not been available to the Terran people. It was and is important to the Federation that these technologies be released in the proper way through us, the Federation, and the Alliance. Thus, these medical technologies and the release of such is also outlined in the Jupiter Agreements. The Terran military is to help manufacture these technologies as well. Their scientists and medical personnel are being retrained and educated by the Federation. 
Lunar Operations Command was chosen as the medical facility because of its vast space and also its location on the moon. The location on the moon makes it very accessible. The Alliance is in charge of Lunar Operations Command and organising the Terran military there. The facility is being renovated with special technology. This technology is very interesting to the Terran people, as it has never been used before. End quote. Valnek's information here is that the Earth Alliance has assumed control over the Lunar Operations Command, thereby replacing the interplanetary corporate conglomerate that was closely aligned with the Dark Fleet. Furthermore, whatever age regression and healing technologies that existed at Lunar Operations Command for secret space programs are now being augmented by healing technologies provided by the Galactic Federation that will be mass-produced by the Earth Alliance. These healing technologies will be used by the multinational space alliance being assembled under the Artemis Accords and combined space commands under US leadership, as stipulated in the Jupiter Accords, which was covered in a previous article. What's most crucial is that these advanced healing technologies will be released to the rest of humanity, which is a very welcome break from past practices where such technologies were only available in highly classified programs to a select number of participants. Presumably, such technologies will be very helpful in dealing with many chronic diseases, life-threatening injuries and global pandemics. Valnek continued his update as follows, quote, There are healing frequencies that are blasted in certain sections of the medical bay at this facility. We are using this technology to heal the super soldiers and slaves that we have rescued from Mars, as these people are victims of our enemy. It is the Federation's responsibility, once they were evacuated, to give them proper medical attention. The technology is frequency-based. I cannot be too specific, however. I can explain that when the body comes in contact with these frequencies, it rearranges the atoms to its original structure, completely healing the DNA and returning it to its original sequence. This process is especially beneficial for the super soldiers who have undergone trauma-based mind control. The trauma in their brains has caused the neurons to form strong links between each other in a pattern that usually cannot be undone naturally or without intervention. While nothing is impossible, the best form of healing we can offer is through medical intervention. The high frequency retrains the brain waves to behave in a normal pattern very quickly instead of the soldier doing years of therapy or psychotropic medications to retrain the brain tissue. I am happy to report that this process is ongoing and will report more when the time is right. End quote. Upon hearing Valnek's information about healing frequencies being blasted through the medical bay of Lunar Operations Command, I immediately thought of Nikola Tesla's electromagnetic frequencies that he believed could be used to both heal people and to enhance their mental capacities. I asked Valnek about Tesla and his inventions, and his reply appears below after the completion of his September 11 update. The September 11 update continued with Megan and Valnek having a Q&A. Quote, Megan, so has Lunar Operations Command already been refurbished, or is it in the process of being refurbished? Is it functional as a medical facility? Valnek, there are sections of it that are operational. It is a very large facility. It has not been completely refurbished. There are other sections of the facility that will also be used for other things that will be reported at a later date. The operational sections are being used to recover the human soldiers from Mars. Megan, are you talking about medbeds? Valnek, we do not call them medbeds. The concept of medbeds, yes, this medical technology is similar to what you call medbeds because of the potential for this technology to be misused or sold for profit and not for the benefit of terror. The Federation is very strict on how it will be administered as outlined in the Jupiter Agreements. End quote. It's worth pointing out that medbed technology was part of the pioneering space medicine that was being developed by a major aerospace company, TRW, from 1967 to 1971, according to William Tompkins, who worked there at the time. Age regression and other advanced medical technologies for the aerospace industry were developed at TRW 
which was later acquired by Northrop Grumman in 2002. I asked Valnick about this Grumman connection and his answer also appears below in response to my questions. Megan and Valnick's Q&A continued as follows. Quote, Megan, so some of these technologies have already been manufactured for use? Valnick, yes, in preparation for the liberation of Mars and the Dark Fleet leaving, agreements were made on a smaller scale than the Jupiter agreements to manufacture some of these technologies by the Earth Alliance. As I said, Lunar Operations Command is in the hands of the Alliance, and so are their manufactured technologies. The medical technologies, the same ones manufactured on a smaller scale by the Alliance, will be manufactured on a larger scale, mass-produced by corporations that participated in the Jupiter Agreements. Megan Valnet gave me an image of this technology being used. I was shown a person lying down with a frequency around and running through their body. Valnek's explanation of the image. Valnek. The frequency is a higher frequency and has interdimensional component. It goes between the matter and uses magnetic force to rearrange the DNA to its original pattern. In each strand of DNA, there are sequences that are held together by a magnetic pattern. This pattern is identified by the technology and then rearranged to form that pattern. It is very advanced. Megan. What is the technology made out of? Valnek. It is made out of precious metals and other elements, some of it natural to Terra, and some of it is not natural to Terra. Is there a reason why you have been giving so much intel recently? Valnek. Because I think it's important to notify the Terran people of our ongoing operations. They need hope. It is very helpful to know that the Galactic Federation is being proactive in encouraging the Earth Alliance to release suppressed and newly acquired advanced health technologies in order to give the rest of humanity hope. It is indeed a challenging time for humanity as individuals have to deal with lockdowns, job losses, depression, suicides, etc. as the deep state plays its final cards to ward off their inevitable defeat by the Earth Alliance and their Galactic Federation partners. After receiving Megan's update, I asked Valnick five questions and what follows are his answers. Michael Sala, 1. Valnick said that the release of medical technologies is part of the Jupiter Agreements. Does he know how many of the 5,915 suppressed patent applications in the US Patents and Trademarks Office for the year 2020 involve medical technologies? Valnick, I'm not sure about the exact calculation for the year 2020. I can say I know about half of those patents include suppressed medical technologies. The reason the Federation is involved with the suppressed patents is because they involve extraterrestrial technology that was suppressed by our enemies, and we are in accordance by Federation laws righting a wrong. We are also helping to improve upon these plans, the schematics for the technology, so that it is the most up-to-date. At the end of 2020, the US Patents and Trademarks Office reported 5,915 patents being withheld due to secrecy orders being placed by one or more federal government agencies. Such orders effectively put the patents in limbo, where they can't be developed for commercial release, but may be incorporated into classified programs. Quote, Michael Sala, 2. Also, do the Jupiter Agreements refer to the release of new energy and propulsion technologies that are also part of the 5,915 suppressed patent applications in the US? Valnek, I'm very happy to report that free energy is part of the Jupiter Agreements. I can report that a corporation run by one of the men that was speculated to be in attendance at the Jupiter Agreements and later confirmed by Thorhan and myself will be manufacturing some of the free energy and releasing it within the decade. Of course, you can speculate who this might be, but I am unable to name the person or corporation specifically. End quote. My speculation is that it is either Elon Musk's SpaceX or Jeff Bezos's Blue Origins that will manufacture free energy technologies for commercial release. Musk's SpaceX is planning ambitious missions to Mars later this decade to set up colonies. The development of free energy technologies would make such an endeavour feasible, so I would lean towards SpaceX as the company Valnek is alluding to. Quote, Michael Sala, 3. 
Valneck refers to healing frequencies that are used to heal super soldiers and others suffering brain trauma and or mind control. This sounds very similar to the kind of electromagnetic frequencies that Nikola Tesla promoted for healing and brain enhancement in the early 1900s. Is it correct to say that these kinds of electromagnetic healing technologies have been suppressed for more than a century by the deep state? Valneck. I am very amused by this man. He is very sharp. Re referencing Dr. Sala. Yes, exactly. These ideas and technologies were given to Nikola Tesla over 100 years ago by the Federation. Since these ideas and technologies, the ideas and schematics, were interfered with by our enemy, we have the right, in accordance with our law, to intervene and right a wrong. It shall be noted that these improvements will benefit all of humanity, not one specific country, and administered as such as they were originally intended. The Nazi Reptilian Alliance, the Dark Fleet, and the Cabal, as you call it, interfered with the evolution of society by suppressing these advancements. So in the interest of balance, we are involved with releasing to humanity what is rightfully theirs. End quote. Tesla's inventions in this regard actually began to be implemented in Sweden for school classrooms in 1912, just before the events of World War I swept aside these pioneering efforts. A story appeared in Popular Electricity magazine on December 1st, 1912, titled Tesla's Plan of Electrically Treating Schoolchildren, which explained how finely calibrated electromagnetic baths had special healing and brain enhancement properties. My questions to Valdek continued thus, quote, Michael Sala 4, regarding the healing technologies that are about to be mass-produced by corporations, does this include companies such as SpaceX, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic, Bigelow Aerospace that have an interest in such technologies for prolonged space travel? Valnek, because this involves parties that are working with but are also separate from the Federation, I cannot completely answer this question in the interest of the company's privacy, but also Megan's safety. You can speculate if you wish, but I cannot confirm. End quote. This is not the first time Valnek has referred to the need to protect Megan from repercussions for releasing intel. The home of Megan's mother was visited by four men in black a few days ago, making inquiries about a young lady, Megan. It's clear that the visit was meant to send a message and intimidate Megan's mother and thereby influence Megan not to continue releasing updates. My final question was thus, quote, Michael Sala, five, finally, William Tompkins said that from 1967 to 1971, he worked at TRW and they were working on age regression technologies that were later incorporated into the US Navy's secret space program. TRW was acquired by Northrop Grumman in 2002. Therefore, is Northrop one of the companies that participated in the Jupiter Agreements and will be involved in the mass production of healing technologies to be soon released to the Terran population? Valnek, I cannot say much because these companies are separate from the Federation, but you can speculate if you wish. I am aware of the schematics given and incorporated into the US Navy at that time. I can also confirm that I am aware of the Federation being in touch with the Navy during this time period. The healing technologies given at that time were very advanced and will be similar to those being released. The new technologies being released are oversighted by the Federation to ensure they are the absolute safest and most effective. It is important to note that these technologies will be in accordance with the evolution of humanity. By this, I mean everything has a potential to be misused for nefarious reasons, which is why the Federation and the Council of Five is involved with overseeing these projects while working with the Alliance. End quote. Valnek is here confirming that the US Navy did acquire such advanced technologies at the time and further that it was working with the Galactic Federation. In short, the Nordic extraterrestrials that William Tompkins repeatedly referred to in his books and interviews were members of the Galactic Federation. What is also clear is that Valnek will neither give nor confirm specifics but invites speculation about the companies and individuals involved in implementing the Jupiter Agreements.
My best guess, consequently, is that Northrop Grumman continues to be associated with the production of advanced healing technologies and will be among the companies setting up mass production facilities at the Lunar Operations Command. In conclusion, it is clear that the Galactic Federation is taking action to rectify the wrong done to humanity due to the repression of many advanced healing technologies over the period of the last century, dating back to the pioneering work of Nikola Tesla. Under their prime directive, the Galactic Federation is permitted under Article 9 and 10 to take action when wrongs are perpetuated by off-planet species such as the Draco Empire and the Orion Alliance, who began intervening in human affairs in the 1930s as a result of secret agreements reached with Nazi Germany. The early agreements with Nazi Germany and subsequent agreements with draconian and Orion extraterrestrials involving the US and other nations led to the suppression of thousands of free energy, exotic propulsion and healing technologies. This is best evidenced today with the 5,915 patents that have not been publicly released due to secrecy orders being placed upon them. What Valnek is effectively saying is that many of these suppressed technologies, along with newer contributions from the Galactic Federation, are currently being mass-produced on the moon and will be soon released into the public arena. That indeed is a prospect worth looking forward to in these dark times on our planet. This is Dr. Michael Sala with Exopolitics Today. I wish to thank Megan Rose for forwarding to me Valnek's information and his replies to my questions. To learn more about my articles and podcasts and interviews, please visit my website, exopolitics.org. Finally, I want to announce that my last webinar, Our Star Trek Future, will shortly be available on Vimeo. You can find more information at exopolitics.org.